Uh, people are really, really upset about this. The Archbishop of New York says the tickets were free for a reason to give everyone the opportunity to see the Pope, including those with modest means. And many people I talked with today agree. Demand is much higher than the supply of tickets to see Pope Francis, and that has some people cashing in. I think it's wrong. It's horrible. It's a terrible thing. I think they're taking advantage of people's uh, beliefs. That's why I think it's immoral. The Pope will appear at events in Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City next week. Thousands of tickets were given out for free. This was given in free, and you are making money. You're making a profit from this, and I find that unacceptable. I think to see the Pope, it should be absolutely free, and I'm, Pope Francis would agree with that. And to take financial advantage of folks just because they want to be able to see this um, Pope is immoral. eBay shut down Pope ticket sales, but ads are still up on Craigslist. This seller in Baltimore is asking for $650 for four tickets. Some tickets are priced as high as $1,000 each. This seller in Bethesda promises to donate the proceeds from their ticket sales. Do you believe that that would happen? I'm sorry, I don't. I doubt that. I do not think that's It'll true. Tie. It's almost like, you know, stealing and then giving away to the needy too. You know, so I, um, I mean, Robin Hood's good, but then again, you know, of course, if you were on the law side, he's a bad guy. For some, the online ticket sales have scam written all over them. I've just heard of a lot of people getting scammed on Craigslist, uh, yeah, and just getting not uh, good responses from people and things like that. It's just not a good place to buy anything. And I have bought tickets on Craigslist, and you have to be wary because you know if they're real or not. So to avoid being scammed, the Better Business Bureau says do your research. Pay with a credit card or a PayPal account for extra protection and for potential reimbursement. And they also say keep a record of your purchase and ask the seller for their proof of purchase. And finally, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Reporting live outside the Basilica, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.